In a halfway house, new man every night Always find wrong and everything shit is never right Homie locked down in a cell, I don't ever write Just doing wrong things for the right reason, make it right Seeing loved ones hurting bad, homie that's hard Mama throwing shit at your dad, then getting slapped hard Mama new boyfriend, hanging in the backyard And I mean literally hanging in the backyard Had a crush on this girl when I was like 9 to 10 Fast forward, the brother ended up killing my friend I was scared of the world, so I would live in my bed Now, I get money, I just live in the bench Drinking and numb the pain, the pain still remains Had my homie laying lifeless, heroin in his veins The grass is always greener, but that's probably cause it rains On the other side more, so I probably should complain A lot up on my mind, it can't fit in my brain If you knew all of my thoughts, you would call me insane Blood is thicker than water, but I live in the drought The things that kills us, the ones that we cannot live without My cousin was a good kid, died from a bullet Meanwhile, six nine, begging for someone to pull it I ain't have a role model on how to treat a woman Had to teach myself what the fuck my father couldn't we act like suicide and anxiety not a part of society people die before they get to sobriety i don't rap for the money you're the damn notoriety i don't talk lately nah i've been moving quietly i know my people proud of me everyone looking down at me i was sinning now i got these angels surrounding me chasing this dream no time to be cowardly thanks to my fans for allowing me so my parents popping pills followed in their footsteps took a couple steps back every time i took steps people make life way harder than it has to get caught in the fucked up cycle life pass you kids dying in the streets now it's a 
classroom There's a lot, God, that I really want to ask you I know that you real, but sometimes you make me question it That kid killed 17 people before they arrested him Seen your dad OD in the kitchen The stove is still hot, mashed potatoes with the chicken When people love you, why they always try to keep shit hidden? So many lives lost to alcohol and addiction You ever see your dad crush up pills and he's snorting it? If you look the other way, that mean that you ignoring it Which means that you supporting it These rappers just recording shit Put it on the internet, companies endorsing it If you have to question it, you don't know what depression is So many times I thought I learned my lesson I never did provide for your family by any means If I ain't rap, probably could have died in these streets Mama always throwing shit, plus she always throwing fists Wanna break down and cry, but we just holding it Scared to show emotions, cause our fathers never showed us it We do the same things to our kids, and we ain't notice it Always do the wrong thing, with the right intentions I don't do that internet talking, stay out my mentions Brother got arrested, could have been a blessing Someone could have died without even second guessing The world that I'm alone in, tears that I'm soaked in Got a bad temper, it's getting hard to control it Sometimes you can't be there for someone that you love Because they too lost in the drugs Survival This is the start of my Twitch stream to draw Ian and Barbara in pirate garb. I hope you're all okay today. Nice to see I've got six viewers apparently. Um, I am going to be doing a little talking, um, a little bit of talking, a little bit of just quiet drawing, listening to some Twitch music from Spotify. So fingers crossed uh, you're all going to enjoy this. Hello everyone. Um, yes. Uh, I asked people what they wanted to draw on Twitch and Bethany said something about Barbara Thensing and it kind of led me to think about my own headcanons and friends' headcanons of uh, Barbara really liking the idea as a kid of being a pirate and I, now I wanted to kind of do an idea where both Ian and Barbara are wearing pirate garb. Um, so I'm going to give it a go. This is a bit more intense than I usually do, um, but we're going to try. I'm going to start with Barbara first and then work on Ian. Um, and we will see how it goes. Uh, thank you, Michael, for the uh, follow. Yes, I'm still quite a new Twitch user, so it's quite nice that um, this is all uh, nice and fresh and new for me after the last weekend. Um, thank you all for being here, and I hope you enjoy. This is going to be a little bit mad, so um, <laughs> wish me luck. So I'm going to take off my microphone for a little bit, but if you want to ask me any questions, I'll put my own microphone back on and we can have a bit of a natter, but just until I get in the groove of the drawing, I'm going to keep quiet and uh, see where we go from here. So, speak to you very, very soon.
Second chances always seem to go and let you down The more you give, the more they take, then they don't come around I search for answers, but they never seem to come around What goes around, what goes around comes back around, comes back around. Hey, You ever feel so close to the edge? Run up people just hope that you did All these unsaid thoughts in your head Can't even get out of your bed Second chances lead to more hurt More love just equals more work Why would I go and just give you my heart If I knew that I ended up just getting so hurt I am so drained, I am in pain This is my fault, I'm the one I should blame not even one of them know my real name and the people that do keep on saying i changed forgot how to love forgot how to live i'm the only one i'll never forgive these rappers ignore me when i was in shit now they slide in my dms to work with the kid if you brought my trust it's time to pay the price loyalty is a way of life not something you could learn in the night nah it's a state of mind eventually karma catch up to us all the mistakes that we make and they're stuck with us we keep it bottled up acting like nothing i think we untouchable till something touches us sick of your excuses
Me, taunt me, jaunting because this love I have is everlasting. Lost a gas and spoke to pasture. These are not the sheep amongst a pasture to live or die. Woke from constant dreaming, you are all I need. Don't need a reason to be the one to fight when all is cleaving away. A naked soul just keep me breathing and I won't let you down. Down, down. Okay, I thought I'd uh, come and say hello. Um, so I'm currently working on the um, just like the general outline so I can go in and do the inking. It is quite hard to do fabric, it is quite hard to do poses, it is quite hard to do swords, it is all hard. But um, I think it's gonna be okay. <laughs> we'll soon see for ourselves. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a uh, difficult one I think. I'm trying to... The, the bit I'm finding most difficult is actually remembering how what a sword looks like. I say remembering, I do have some swords up but the way I have drawn this has not really made this easy for me to to draw so I think I'm just having to wing it a bit based on what I can see and hope it looks pretty cool, um, which is the hope. So yes. I mean, it's looking okay, but I think there's still some work I could do to make this better. First of all, looking at this, I need to make the body a little bit bigger because the rest of her head is massive. <laughs> so let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, if you can. Yeah, if you can see that the body in one respect looks just very different to the head. I'm just going to try and fix that before I start. Anything else? Oh, so I have a question about Cursed, Netflix Cursed. Um, I don't know if anyone else has watched it. I wasn't particularly impressed when I watched it that first time. Um, I, I tried watching it when it came out and I just didn't like the angle it was taking with the stuff. Um, I'm afraid I'm a little bit of a purist <laughs> when it comes to our fairy and stuff and I like it to... I don't know. I like it to feel like I'm watching a legend. And there was something about Curse that it felt like it was trying to be Game of Thrones. And it was just a bit... It was a bit odd, to be honest. Um, let's see if I can get this to work. Ah, no, it's not working.
safely. I wonder if it works better. Yeah, let's try that. So. Yeah, it's good to hear people are enjoying it. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I think um, it's definitely based off a book, I believe. So it's got, um, you know, it's tying from that as well, not just generic Arthurian legend stuff. So that's something also to take into account. Um, but, yeah, I'm glad people are enjoying it. And don't worry, it's okay if this doesn't look quite right yet because I'm going to be working into the drawing to make it better. So let's have a look. Um, we reduce that again right down. I do a lot of overdrawing. This is kind of how I get anything to work. And also, I tend to get better once I've warmed up. <laughs> um, I tried doing that this morning, but... Obviously, I hadn't warmed up enough. But I'm just going to try and make this pose a bit easier to manage. I think that already is going to help. I'll worry about the sword later. Right, let's... Uh, looking a little bit better to me. What happens? With stuff like this it's kind of like when you you know what you're doing like how to use the software effectively to produce the results you want it does help. If I was doing this on pen and paper, it'd be like four or five different pieces of paper by now and I'd have been probably crying in some way, some shape or form. Glad no one could see it, but you know, we're we're on Twitch. <laughs> so you can see everything. You wait until I draw Ian. <laughs> it's going to be a uh, be difficult. I think I'm going to completely redraw her head because I don't think it worked. That's okay. It's annoying with uh, Barbara actually because she has quite a strong jawline so she can look quite masculine when you're trying to draw her and it is quite hard. Fingers crossed I am going to get it right this time round. I'm already dreading it. I 
turn up the music again as well. So I'm going to go silent while I try and focus. But any questions, do let me know.
inside me. Alors après, 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 alors après. うまくいくってそんなことないうまくいくってうまくいくってのうまくいってんじゃん。say hello so hi hi um so i'm gonna do barbara in a second i'm just gonna finish off the rest of my lunch which is a little snack bar hope you guys are enjoying so far i'm really actually quite chuffed with how this has come out this has come out a lot better than i thought after the initial drawing as you can see it's a lot of working out shapes and that sort of thing so i'm really really pleased with how it's come out And also I gave Barbara a very um, stern expression, which is cool. So I'm trying to decide if I completely finish colouring her and everything now, or if I should draw Ian now, and then colour them both together, which I think makes more sense. So yes. Um, we'll have a look. I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. Um, 
Thanks. Thank you um, for the follow, yeah. Ben. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. Super Nintendo. Three and everyone that's followed. Stupid of bimbos. Green dunks. Tree sap. We cling on like a thing to without a space plan. 90s baby living not without a space jam. In a perfect world, we love without a turd to her. That shit's slinging. Oh, but yeah, so Barbara's obviously the one with the, with the, with the sword. With the fencing sword. The fencing sword. They were like the rapier. They were all the cutlass. Um, so I'm gonna give Ian one of the like uh, pirate pistols. He's gonna look quite similar, but maybe about like the vest top. He always wear like the white shirt and the belt. So fingers crossed, he'll look just as good. If not, I'll just cut him. <laughs> that's, that's how I'm going with this. So um, I'm just gonna finish off this little bar and then I'm continue. But I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, I'm gonna find some more music as well actually while we're having a chat because Twitch obviously have a condition about um, condition about music you're allowed to play. So I'm just gonna put on my usual, which is the, this playlist here. So apologies if it's stuff you've already listened to before, but eh. Oh, thank you for coming, Finn. Uh, yes, uh, Twitch is a pain. Um, hopefully at some point they'll find a way of us just showing exactly what we're playing so it advertises, but I don't know. Who knows if that'll actually happen. But in the meantime, I'm going to go back to drawing. I'm going to try and draw Ian now. Wish me luck. And I hope you're enjoying. So, see you.
So I'm uh, doing this drawing and I'm realising that I've done it really the wrong way round. So <laughs> it will look like I'm backtracking. I am a bit, I suppose, but I thought I'd let you know like this is how we make mistakes. Um, I've realised that really this silhouette isn't that strong. Um, so I'm going to try something else. So bear with me. It's annoying because I quite like that hand. But yeah. Um, so bring Barbara back in. Oh, no, let's not do this, Barbara. So, if I flip Barbara... Mm, that's fine. So it's, it's a really good way of just testing if something's working. It's because I need to make sure that he fits in with her. So whilst technically speaking it does I feel like really his gun should be in the other hand oh yeah and the drag angle angles Finn are a pain in the butt yes I agree with you entirely um, I'm wondering if I should yeah I'm gonna go back to this drawing And just for the time being, see what happens. If I copy this one, I'm going to flip it. Is that actually what I want though? I wonder if they... this on somewhere else. Duplicate. Is 
technically speaking, I kind of want the arm over here. Instead. And obviously, it's this there. It's the wrong arm now. Oh, so sort of like that, I guess. See what happens if I try it this way. Uh, the joys of working out if things work. And then I can actually. Just try and sketch in the remainder of this and see if it works better. I think it does. Oh yeah, inking's even worse, Finn. Definitely. <laughs> I know so many people who don't like inking. I actually quite enjoy inking now I have like a routine for it, but it does take a lot. I actually find I draw better from the shoulder, if that makes any sense to anybody. Which is where you're you're kind of using your shoulder to draw instead. That already looks better, and I think I might even be able to lift his arm. Makes for a more interesting silhouette this way. And I can Something like that. I 
it also looks like they can now hold hands. So that that's a thing that maybe I might be able to tie in. And thank you. I, I am also enjoying this concept. We have Bethany to thank for this concept because she was talking about Barbara fencing and it kind of became a thing in my head. So... I'm even tempted if I make this smaller in a group. And I can actually work on if I want to. I actually want him to hold her hand or not. So it could potentially hold hands. And I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> uh, but that means I have to draw them holding hands, which is a lot more difficult than you may think it is. But we'll get there. We'll get we'll get to that. In the meantime, let's actually get Ian drawn in again. So I'm going to just draw in the rough details again on his face and see. I've drawn Ian so many times I don't even have to think so much about his features anymore. <laughs> Obsessed? Me? Way, this weird masking I'm doing is a technique that I was taught about doing eyes. It's like where, that's where the eye and all the brow goes, which is pretty cool. I never think to do it, so I'm going to try it with Ian. Um, so he's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> you mean he is wearing sunglasses? And yes, I do draw blobs for hands because I hate hands. Absolutely despise hands. They end up becoming like, I don't know. Let's remember that fabric is different on his, this shirt than it would be. You can see I've warmed up now because everything's moving like a lot smoother than it was before. I might have to redraw Barbara as well. But that's good. I'm cool with that. Also, I'm completely making up this pirate rifle thing. Well, not pirate, the pistol looks like because I haven't got any reference. Up. I might look in a minute, but for now. I don't think I'm going to need. There we go. I'll give him like a. Like that instead. Like how does it look with Barbara as well?
And remember, he's way much, he's much too big. <laughs> or she's much too small. Let's go, I'm gonna draw that Barbara anyway. Uh, the brushes I'm using, um, so I got these from Gumroad, I cannot remember. Um, this is a pen pencil, uh, so it does some, uh, just to show you. This one, is, it is, it feels very much like a pencil, but it's got the inking of the pen. It's really, really nice. So I can, I can, I can do roughs in this, but I, I prefer to use, again, like a 6B pencil to do my pencils in. But I have loads of brushes. I've tried lots of different things. Uh, BJ Dell is very good. He does like these kind of like nice, uh, just to show you. Come on you, let me do things. Come on, stupid machine. Uh, you know what it is? So my nib the other day had a few issues. There we go. So this is the uh, cartoon sketch inker, which is like when you're actually pressing down, it really does feel the the pressure for the opacity. I don't use it very often, but it's quite a nice one. Um, they've got bold inkers. Um, but my, my favourite usually, I use the gouache brush, because I love the gouache brush. It's like my favourite brush ever. When I used Photoshop, it used to be the what I used to, to do all my inking in. But I've seen discovering this one. I use this one now. So yes, um, if I ever remember who I got the pencils off, I'll let you know. Um, remember, I used this opportunity to redraw Barbara. Not because there's anything wrong with Barbara, but I want her and Ian to match. And at the moment, they don't. And also, they need to hold hands. So I need to figure that out. I'm gonna have to find out how to do that later. Finn, that's all good. I also find like there's this whole thing about like line quality, and it's something that like my husband and I talk about all the time. Um, mostly he talks about it more than me. I he he <laughs> he gets very stressed about it. But the idea of um, like the life of a line, like how much a line looks. Uh, energized and excited you know like it's hard to explain you can tell the difference between like an alive line and a dead line where you can tell something's been traced and then you can also tell where something hasn't been traced and kind of been just forced down onto the page almost there's probably an easier way of saying that but my brain isn't quite working um And I find like it takes a while for me to warm up to be able to get those alive lines naturally. Otherwise, I have to work so hard to get a line to look energetic. Again, I'm not even sure it's going to be the final ink line yet. I just wanted to make sure that they looked similar. So then when I actually do start working in on everything, it doesn't stress me out. <laughs> also, I can do more with this line art now. Barbara's ready to smack up everyone. Yeah. 
and now if I, if I do EM one more time, again in, in the same sort of energetic way. I think it's going to be okay now. Thank you guys for those of you who are uh, still tuned in. Hope I'm not uh, too annoying. So this is the bit I'm going to find difficult, I think. Because obviously his, his, his body goes up like that, depending on how he's standing. Is it like that? I guess it's like that. See if how it works. Well. He's baby. No, it was um, I need to fix those eyes. He's in a bad mood too. I don't know why yet. I usually come up with stories when I do kind of drawings like this. That's why there's always quotes with uh, my drawings. Guess what? I'm gonna go over it one more time. <laughs> oh dear. Um, 
I think it's actually because I want them to be standing closer together as well. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and work out how they can be holding hands. So I've seen his his hand is on top of hers, and his is underneath. Then technically her hand will come in like that. I suppose. Is that right? Nobody knows. But let, let's try. I'm just going to pretend that that looked right. gonna go off voice for a little while put the music back up so I can get on with inking this then we'll look at colouring so I'll speak to you in a second
Hello, I have returned. So, um, we have our line drawing for Ian and Barbara, which I'm really, really pleased with. Um, I, I think I can still do some work on the face, but sometimes I actually do that within the colouring stage when it's starting to get finalised and I realise actually I can change some bits around. But, they are holding hands. Ian's hand is now the right way around. Well done, me. And, yeah, because I think I need to that maybe anyway I'll look at that again in a second um, and they do look like pirates which is great 
so um, I'm going to um, have a quick break, grab a cup of tea, use a loo, and then I'm going to come back and start colouring this baby in. So if you guys want to go grab a cup of tea or use a loo, you're not going to miss anything. That's what I'm going to do now. Um, please, please, please let people know I'm still working on this. If you want to come uh, tell anyone, like, hey, we're watching this now or whatever, come in um, and just watch as I colour in these babes. Um, I'm also going to do a quick uh, retweet as well to say that I'm still doing this and will be until it's finished. I imagine it's going to take another hour, maybe hour and a half. will completely depend on how the colouring goes because sometimes colouring can take a while and sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends on how it goes. Um, thank you everyone for who's been sticking around. I really appreciate it and um, I will speak to you all very, 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 very soon. So, see you later.
Hi guys, I have returned. So, I hope you're all okay. Hope you've got your um, teas or coffees or your whatever you um, like to drink. And I'm going to start colouring it in in a second. If you've just joined us, this is my initial Ian and Barbara sketch. I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. Um, took a lot of work, as everyone who's seen for the last hour and a half. So we're going to now colour this baby in and get it looking presentable. Um, first of all, what I'm going to do is get rid of everything here, apart from that line art. So that's done now. Um, and what else I do as well is I, um, I'm i going to use the select tool for the background, um, for the fill layer today. So those who don't know my colouring process, basically there are two different ways. Um, oh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, there are two different ways in which I colour. Either uh, I, I use masks every time, but sometimes I'll like, I'll do the background in just a colour like this. So you might even do that now I've started. Um, or I actually use the select tool to select my 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 mask area. But as I've started, I'm just going to colour all of the basic area in blue. And then we'll work from there. So, da, 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 da. so yes, that's it. So um, I'm going to leave my mic on. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my mic on. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a bloody tireless monkey talking about the um, Marco Polo comedy sketch and it has hurt my brain. Um, I'm gonna leave my mic on so we can all chat. Um, I can bully tireless monkey then. Or vice versa, because I think that's probably more likely. Um, whilst I colour this in, I'm gonna put them in like reds and golds and do some fun stuff and and yeah and we've got them holding hands because let's face it they would um, I'm kind of imagining I've been thinking about it that like I'm gonna put a speech bubble um, from Ian being like right now to find the doctor as in they've they've just been snuck on board a ship perhaps that him and the doctor and Ian were separated and now that they're, they're armed and ready to go, they know they're going to have a lot of trouble on this ship. And they know Ian, uh, they know Susan and the Doctor are in danger. So they're the rescue team. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm imagining. Bit corny maybe, but I don't care. It's my drawing. Um... But yeah, that's, that's me. I hope everyone's doing well today. I don't know what time it is for everybody here in the UK. It is ten past three. So I'm not sure where you're watching from. Do let me know in the comments. They need to go again, black men. That's cool. Um, they're, they're, well, it's not quite the same because it wouldn't be. But um, there's a few story. Well, there's, there's um, a story called The Flames of Cadets which involves Sir Francis Drake and you find out that Ian's a massive fan of Sir Francis Drake and ends up on the Golden Hind, I believe, um, which is really good. Uh, I enjoyed that one because that's how we find out that Francis is Ian's middle name, which uh, <laughs> makes me quite, quite happy. <laughs> it's such a weird fact to know. Um, I'm sure that's also the, f the same story where... Um, we find out that Ian and Barbara met, like actually had a proper conversation during the uh, riots about the bomb, the nuclear war bomb in 1962. Um, so yeah, so that's cool. I like the Thames Cadets a lot. If you haven't listened to that one, a big finish. I do highly recommend it. One of your muscles fantastic in it, as you'd expect. And Caroline Ford is great as Susan as well. Um, some great, great stuff. Lots of angst for everybody. Um, but yes, apart from that one, the only other one that involves water... Well, there's actually a couple that involve water, Ian and Barbara, actually. Um, one's called The Transit of Venus, which um, is actually quite scary. 
Um, I do highly recommend. I don't want to give it away. Uh, Transit of Venus is uh, a kind of Ian-centric story. It's very good. I believe Transit is written by Jack Rayner. Off the top of my head, I'm one of the first ones that um, William Russell did as Ian um, when he joined the Big Finish crew. Um, and then Domain of the Void, I think, is one of my favourites, and that's by Andrew Smith. Um, Domain of the Void, as you can imagine, involves the Void. And the, the Void are pretty terrible. Like, I mean, the Keys of Marinus don't give them enough to do. Like, they kind of turn up at the end, like, hey, we're here! Um, which is a shame, because I really like the Vord. I think they're a really interesting looking alien race, and we don't really get to see them again. But Big Finish do some really cool, like, world building with them as an alien species. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend that one as well. Again, that hurt me too. Um, in every in every way. Um, in any way that a big finish can hurt you, that one hurt me. <laughs> if you know me, you probably know why. Um, so, yeah, I highly, highly, highly recommend those. Um, and they're the ones that mostly involve water. Um, but yeah, my, my friend Tina and I, uh, um, we, we talk about Ian and Barbara a lot, as you can imagine. And Tina's headcanon has always been that when Barbara was a kid, she wanted to be a pirate. Um, which I thought was such a cute idea, just imagining this 1930s little girl desperate to be a pirate. Yeah, uh, Domain's great. Domain is a great, great story. Um, so yeah, so those playing along at home, I am currently just doing the mask um, around the line work for Ian and Barbara, so no, they're not going to be blue the whole way through. It's just a way of me making sure that the colour don't leave the lines. And it'll make more sense when I start adding colour to this baby. It's all good. Um, again, any questions, anything you want to ask, please do. Um, as I've got my microphone on. Um, I. My husband was working earlier, which is why I, I've been doing like these chill streams where I don't talk very much. But I am quite happy to talk at the moment. Jamie's not here. He's he's gone to play some video games and chill out for a little bit because work is hard. So um, yeah, so I have I, I am free to have a chat. So uh, anything you want to ask, anything you want to discuss, um, I'm more than happy to have a little chat. Um, I don't know how interesting I will be, but I am more than happy to do it. So, yes. But it's so nice to see so many of you popping in still. And I, I still can't get over what happened last weekend. Or last weekend, the weekend before even. Um, where we have raised all that money and got Chris Chibnall to, <laughs> to match our donation as well, which is astounding so you know we're doing well we're doing good and the auction is soon to be the details of which will be announced i'm just waiting on some more information just before i officially confirm it with everyone but yeah exciting times very exciting times I think, for the most part, we have our line work, um, our line work, our mask done. So I'm just going to go through and just double check. I can easily double check later, so it's not the end of the world if we haven't done as well as we'd like. But it's just to get us started, and you'll see why. Because what I'm going to do. Oh, um, 
Oh, thank you for getting the digital copy of the artwork. That's great. Yeah, um, I'm waiting on that to come through so I can officially add it to the um, account. So it's sat in a gun road and they pay you every Friday. But because it was the first time I'd used gun road, um, they were kind of uh, not willing to give me the money. <laughs> so I was like, oh. So, um, so I have to wait for another Friday for them to give me the money. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm glad you like the digital copy of the artwork. The auction will be soon and that will be the A3 print. I'm very, very excited for people to get theirs. I might even throw in other goodies as well. I do have prints and pins that I would like to add to the auction, but I'm going to obviously announce that when we actually do the auction stuff. Um, so let's get to colouring. So I'm going to put Barbara, I think, in mostly red because, you know... She cool babe. Um, so we're gonna do a similar thing. So um, um, I've made this layer here into a clipping mask, which means it goes over the top of the blue without going out off the corners. So I can do that as so. It's depending on where I put this in my layer. Now it will look good, bad, whatever. But it'll, it'll make more sense when I start using it a bit more efficiently. But yeah. But it can only go inside, outside the, inside the blue. So I need to tidy it up when I've done it. So far, so good. Um, so let's have a look. I'm gonna do her shirt now. Probably the same colour shirt as Ian's, maybe slightly whiter. Makes me sad that this doesn't actually exist as an episode now. We should have had Pirate Barbara. Dear Big Finish, let me write Pirate Barbara, the end. I kind of accidentally started with Barbara first. It wasn't intentional, but just I'll we'll go with it. So um, just doing all of her, her like basic colour first, and then we can work on adding lighting and shading once I've coloured in the end as well.
Oh, so is everyone excited about the uh, Benny audios as well? They've just announced. I, I, I've got a story in it. And um, Simon Gurry has got a story in it. And there's a couple of other really nice people as well doing stuff for it. So do, do check it out. Um, I highly recommend doing so. Um, writing for Benny was fun. Not that uh, <laughs> writing the master wasn't fun, but it was really fun and a great opportunity to do. looking all right so far so good There we go, we're all not far off finishing Barbara's colours now. We do her hair. Thank you, Michael. So yes, at the moment I'm just going through and making sure I've colored everything in the right sections and the right places and making sure that, you know, when I look in and I see that there's blue, fix it so I go in and I that's why you use such a kind of abrupt color underneath the coloring to make sure that you can see otherwise it's easily lost and I think I've caught everything I'm just gonna give Barbara this quite sweet little uh, patch on her shoulder So, very good. And I'm just going to sort her eyes out. What are you thinking of the new eyes, by the way? Because I'm, I'm doing, I'm trying these more authentically rich eyes compared to just the black ones. Um, I think they do sort of work, but at the same time, not entirely sure. Um, at the moment, just seeing what works. Well, but yeah, I think it's working out. So I'm just gonna I realized in my um eagerness to put them together I haven't actually finished drawing Barbara here, so I'm just gonna kinda give her some legs. <laughs>
So, yes. You can see where, where I obviously have had to make this kind of quickly. Um, I've not coloured in the bottom properly so that mask isn't working the way it should. So obviously you have to go back in and make sure it does. There we go. So Barbara is coloured, which is very exciting. And now to do the same to Ian. I always tend to give him and Book Barbara exactly the same hair colour. Um, I don't know if it's because that's, I think, the authentic hair colour, or if it just makes them look more like a like a pair, not a pairing necessarily, but a pair because they are joined at the hip for the most part during their adventures, regardless if you think they're romantic or not. They kind of sort of come together in this kind of way. I'll do their skin too. So again, it's I I always tend to like do a kind of skin color and then see if it actually works later once I've done the initial coloring. There's a lot of like trial and error, which is always fun. Still got some stuff to do on there, haven't I? Let's have a little look. It's not my favourite version of a pistol. But it'll do. We know what it is, right? <laughs> I might, uh... No, don't do that, Sophie, because you almost lost all your work. <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, so as you can see, sometimes in the colouring stage you realise something's wrong and then you have to kind of start fixing things. And that's not always a bad thing. It's just, at least they've been caught, you know? So... I am no way an expert by any means, but I do try. See, now it just looks weird. What have I done? Let's try and fix this properly. I'm 
just gonna have a little look at some pistols because See if I can find a nice picture of someone holding it, and then I should be fine. That'll do. Right, okay. Makes more sense. And then there's a bit they had to hold like that. I can move that in so there's more room. Very good. does look more like an alien pistol, but it is actually inspired. Sorry, it's just a lot of um, trying to get this right. Already it looks better. Let's try that again, shall we? I do apologise that I'm having to like draw again. Um
that's that already looks a little better. Let me just uh, quickly go over this one so it does actually work. to recolor this blue bit as well that's okay Who's still gonna get wrong? I am, I am. <laughs> this is what happens when I try and do something a little bit more advantageous for a stream. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. So if you can, it's fine. That's better. It's fine. Which one is it? Right, so it's just... There we go. That's up, that's up. Down we go. Now you'll see, I've got to quickly do the blue again. There we go. Let's go to show you how that works. So blue, 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 blue. Let's get rid of the hand stuff here. Is it the wrong skin tone? Oh, yes, this one. Da 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 da. It's worth it. It's worth it. We're good. We're good. Oh, the gun looks way better. Hope you're enjoying yourselves, guys. It's listening to me stress about guns and holding them. Already looks so much better. Okie dokie. Let's do what we were doing.
In the end, we've actually gave Ian quite a nice hand. That's good. It worked out alright. There we go. Um, I think there's just one other thing I need to do with this hand, which is, I think... Yeah, I need to get rid of this bit. Much better. Let's get Ian in his white shirt. I might even make it kind of like an off grey green. I haven't quite decided yet. But I can play with that in a second, which is the fun part. I get to go into hue and saturation and just see what colours work. Give him a nice belt. I'll also give him kind of black or actually even brown trousers. We go. We're almost there now. It's uh, looking pretty, pretty cool. I'm gonna make it a brown. Okay. So before I do anything else, I'm just gonna. Make it a different hue. Oh. That's good. I like it. It's a bit different. Um, you can see where I haven't quite got this to work. So. Um, bonus points if you can hear my cat in the background. He is snoring behind me. Actually, I'll stop in a second. We can look at my cat. Um, just before I start preparing for the, the final bit. I've got a feeling I might... Do some bits and pieces. So I'm not quite happy with Ian's face for some reason. Barbara's looks alright. 
change his skin tone. Oh. Is that why I didn't like it? If we put this on a darker background, we'll be able to see. Yeah, I think it needs to be a bit more saturated. So yeah, so we're getting there. We're definitely getting there now. Um, so I'm just going to have a little sip of my tea. Any questions? I am very excited to finish this one. Um, yes. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to be adding the shadow the lighting next. Um think I might redraw Ian's face. Um, I think his eyes are too far apart. Oh, thank you, Finn. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult because sometimes you just can't, you don't know the trajectory of drawing while you're doing it. And sometimes they look good. Sometimes they don't look so good. Um, sometimes I'll post something um, and you just won't know what you're going to get really or people are going to like it or whatever so it's really nice to hear that people do so thank you Finn it's really nice for you to say that um, I hope with anything really when you're actually cr drawing characters that are famous characters um, it's actually making sure they look like the characters they represent so like this I can see to be Barbara like for some reason it just feels like Barbara to me when you look at her where this yeah it does look like Ian but there's something not quite right so I'm gonna have a little play um, and just see where that takes me I think it's going to be in the fundamentals of the actual picture as well so we're gonna have a little look um yeah I've got a feeling that it's to do with if I remove the eyes just for a second. I've got a feeling it's because let's have a little look at it here. If I just pull this in slightly. Yeah, that's already helping. I'll get rid of this this line here and make his mouth bigger. Not not that big. It does seem to work better. Sometimes it is just a redraw that it needs trying to accomplish the same thing and you just you can put it off so much better. And it might just be a lot for lots of different reasons it doesn't quite work that first time. So yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Like something like that might be what I'm looking for. It already looks a little better. What if I move? Face just ever so slightly away. Oh no, that's actually as you can see I do I do play with a lot of layers when it comes to what if I lean it slightly in
actually that already looks so much better to me now if anything his pupils are too big Just going to redraw the side of its face. Well, now that I think I've got that sorted for now, I'm just going to put his eyes back in and then I'm going to try and do a little bit of light shading on these guys. So, um, yeah. I'm also going to do something I should have done ages ago. So I'm going to make the line art all the same colour. now I'm gonna see what I can do about the shading and lighting so I'm gonna put you guys on um, my, my yeah put his eyes back in does sound atrocious out of context yep your eyes are back in now you can see my godly powers um yeah I'm gonna mute myself just so I can concentrate on getting the, the shadow down but and again if you have any questions or comments do post them and then when I do come back on voice I'll always speak so um, yeah I'll see you guys in a sec
be fixed. So let's have a look if I want to. So Procreate comes with some amazing um, additions. Um, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to look at the gradient map. So gradient map does something I love, which it actually puts it in black and white, which <laughs> looks stunning in black and white. Um, and kind of tempted <laughs> to leave it black and white because, I mean, what's not to like? Um, it's so cool in black and white. Um, I might actually keep a version which is in black and white because why not um, so yeah that's why I like to do that so let's go back into gradient map and have a look at some other options we've got so I me, mean, I can create my own some of these I like some of these not so much it really just depends on what kind of thing I'm looking for if we If I wanted it to be kind of a bit more, uh, I don't know, like sepia. Even that looks pretty damn cool, to be honest with you. Um, and again, you I don't know if the colours are that clear for you guys, but I think it looks pretty cool. Um, again, I might save a version in that, and then right. So let's have a look at this one again. Oh. What I'm going to do instead is add some noise. So noise, oh, I, I love noise on drawings. Just give this really nice effect. I don't know if you can really see it, but it kind of adds just a little bit, just enough. I think it does a marvelous job at just giving it a bit more of a painterly look. Um, and then again, I'm going to duplicate that one. And then let's see what happens if I use bloom. So bloom's a really interesting one. It kind of um, depending on what's light in the story or kind of pick it story in the drawing it'll pick it up and kind of play with it I mean they're not shining or anything they're not like a do I no this whole part is literally just trial and error um, just to show you because it is quite fun I'll show you the glitch so if this wasn't supposed to be happening and I was trying to do something in particular I could just use glitch and it would completely glitch my drawing for me which it's a really cool effect don't need it for this drawing but you know to kind of give an impression of stuff going down I certainly could use it so it does look pretty cool but I don't need it so we're gonna go back um, I am actually really happy with these, that just as it is. So I'm just going to do what I usually do, which is going to make a um, like a shadow layer. And I do that by using like a little gashon blur and making it nice and light. Sometimes I even move it across like that. There we go. And then I kind of figure out what I'm going to do in my background. So I was planning on drawing a background, but I've spent three hours just on this. And to be honest, I'm kind of happy with how it is. I think I'd ruin it with the background at the moment. So, so I'm going to put in a colour. I'm going to put in another favourite colour of mine. Oh, nope, not in that way. Use a soft brush. I'm gonna kind of create a gradient. Um. 
of my own. There we go. And then sometimes, like, if I do this, I can actually use the gradient map um, to make the colour a bit more interesting for the actual background. It's not perfect. Sometimes it does very little at all. But sometimes it does. I think it depends on just how extreme you make the background in the in the beginning. So for example, if I make this even more red here. Like so. This should okay, maybe not. Hmm. Oh well. Clearly I'm wrong. <laughs> Well, that's what I was doing before. Anyway, maybe I'll just make it black and white. I do rather enjoy how it's looking. Um, and what I might do as well. so it's not so obvious that they, their legs get completely cut off but it's fine um, and yeah of course I was actually going to put in my little speech bubble weren't we so let's do that so I don't do like traditional speech bubbles I just kind of write in what I'm thinking of saying I don't worry about all that later Vicky, Vicky, and the doctor went this way. Cool. I'm gonna go over it again. I just to make sure I put it in the right place with night with neater handwriting. So I I say neater, just neater than still not the best.
Let's try and center it now. <laughs> Oh god, I hate it. I actually hate it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna... Uh... Should've done this before. At least I can do this bit easier now. And now I can actually space this out. Looks much better. Ta da! Cool. Um, so the last thing I'm going to do. nice this way is I'll do it over this one go. I think I'm just going to change the background colour. Mm. 
and then um, I think just to finish it off, I'm just gonna. And already this looks like an interesting piece of work. <laughs> Just gonna lighten this a bit. There we go, I think. Again, I think what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to gallery, select, duplicate, and then if I group that, all I need to do now. I think, yeah, I might just quickly add noise again. Ooh. There we go, that's quite nice. Again, we'll have a look at the curves. that a lot and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a black and white one because come on why not right so so I'm gonna do both so the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna make this background layer just like a, like a colour. So now we have a so now we have a um, black and white version that I'll strand straight to my computer. Oh thanks Joe. That's really nice of you. Um, my brother's very sweet. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then I'll do the same thing for these guys. But yeah, there it's all done. It, I'm ready to share it online, so that's all good to go. Can't believe I've been doing this for this long. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm a bit tired now looking at all this. Um, come on computer, find my other t- you can do it, oh hang on, uh, jpeg, shouldn't take too long hopefully. This one shouldn't be cancelled, come on. Anyway, while that's doing that, I'll say hello. Um, yeah, so that that was the end of the stream, basically all done. Um, thank you for all of you who have hung around and stayed and all that stuff. It's been really lovely um, to have you here, and I will speak to you guys very very soon. Um, I'm hoping to do a Twitch again next week. Um, or maybe even Sunday. I think Sunday I might have some free time. I think it's going to be my usual day. So, um, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. And I do hope that you will um, join me again to do some doodling. 
and uh, speak to you all soon. And thank you to my brother and my dad for coming again to watch. It's very kind of you. And um, speak to you guys soon. Thank you so much.